Hi, this is Marina from Mfabric. Today I will show you a new feature we added to Mfabric. Uh, it started some days ago, last week, uh, when Netflix uh, announced that they would open source a visual component to visualize uh, network traffic. And I found it really interesting, so yesterday I had some time and I decided to give it a try, to uh, try to add it as a, as a plugin for Mfabric. So today we are already deploying it in production. You can see it here. Um, we call it network traffic, the extension, because uh, visceral is not something that will give you an idea of what it is, but it's the component from, from Netflix. So to build it, uh, from now on we will provide an example, uh, a template dashboard, so you can load it, but let's see how this works. Uh, so once it's running, you have a uh, like a central source of traffic that will be the internet uh, and then different nodes here i'm simulating that we have for example three data centers or three offices or something and you have traffic normal traffic the light blue uh, warning traffic the yellow and error traffic the red and you have different amounts of traffic traffic flowing through the different components and it displays the traffic uh, graphically and the rate uh, it requests per second, the percentage of the total, the error rate, uh, and the warning rate. And it's a multi-level uh, visualization. So if you, if each of these individual nodes have su sub nodes inside, for example, you have servers, uh, you can click on it and it will go. For example, here, as uh, just to keep it simple, I had three a source I call base and two nodes, one called database and the other called message queue uh, and I can see the traffic for from the base to the in for the components and if I double click on one of them I can see the the data we saw at the beginning. You can see here at the top that we have a back button uh, we can click to go back uh, the levels. So let's see, let's see how it works. Of course first if you want to enable it, you have to select the widget network traffic extension and you will have the widget available. And once you have it available, here of course uh, you have to create the and update the topology of the network you have and also the stats, the metrics for the, for the traffic between the nodes. So now I, I just, uh, since I don't have the data, I had to generate it. Uh, so I created a timer that will trigger once and with that I will generate 12 events. Uh, let's see how those what those events look like. So here as usual with any data view we have uh, templates. We can do six operations, add node, uh, where we have to, have to specify a path. It can be one or from one to or two strings, text uh, fields with the ID of the node we are uh, adding and some fields, the, the ones you can set uh, for now it's max volume, which is the max amount of traffic you saw on that node. And the class, we, you can set normal, warning or danger to change the color of the node. You can update a node uh, if you want to update the class or the max volume. You can delete the node if it's no longer on your network. You can add a connection between two nodes. In this case, uh, you specify the path from the source uh, and the target. Um, and then fields. In this case, you can specify metrics, uh, which uh, um, the, the traffic amount for normal traffic, warning traffic, and danger traffic, and some metadata. If you have some extra information, for example, an IP address or something else for, for that node, you can add it there. You can update a connection to update the traffic flow mainly or the metadata, or you can delete a connection in case uh, the Node is no longer the connection no longer exists. So what I do here, uh, since I have to configure the the topology directly from Mfabric because I don't have actually a source of this information, what I do here is I emit with the output block. I emit uh, more than one uh, event. We just get a tick from the ticker, and then we emit twelve events. The first one will create a new node. We'll add a node called London without fields uh, or without any extra fields. We will add a node called Tokyo and a node called New York. 
the internet node that I mentioned as a primary source of information it's created by default because it has to always be there uh, then I add a node you can see here uh, New York base so it's a node inside the New York node called base I add another one called New York database and another one called New York message queue and then I add a connection from internet to London uh, with normal traffic of 80, warning of 15, and danger of 5. I had another connection from internet to New York with 25 and 2, and a connection from internet to Tokyo, uh, 10, 3, 1, and finally a connection from Tokyo to New York, 5, 2, and 1. But now, now I want to also add connections from base to database and from base to message queue, as we saw when I clicked on the details. So I have to say that I want to connect from New York base to database. You can see that on the target, I don't specify New York again because uh, it's obvious that database is also inside New York. You wouldn't have traffic between inner nodes uh, from New York to Tokyo or something like that. And I also had a connection from New York base to message queue with this amount of um, traffic. And uh, the result is this you can see here. Let's update something. Let's make a lot of error traffic from the internet to London. This would be an event in your system, but we will make a little trick here. I think I said from internet to London, I don't remember. Uh, so connection from internet to London, where is it? Yeah, here. Let's revert this. Let's put 5 of normal and 80 of error. And I could uh, either reload here because the ticker are already fired, but I can just configure it again and click OK. So it will tick once more and it will update the traffic. We can see here that the traffic uh, from the Internet to Tokyo to London is uh, mostly red as we configured. So this uh, information would come from uh, from some monitoring things you have. But not only it can apply to uh, network traffic, it could uh, apply to any kind of traffic. If you have like a logistics problem and you have flows between a central logistic building to other buildings or stuff like that, uh, you could also apply to it. So you can see a more complex uh, example over here. They At Netflix, they have a quite uh, complex inner network. And you can see what you can create uh, with this much more complex uh, networks and uh, it's quite uh, interesting to see when you hover over one node you get uh, on the highlight of the connections and we will work to allow to add uh, more details when we click on nodes so if you find it interesting it's already available on mfaric uh, just uh, send us an email or contact us via Facebook, Twitter or on the YouTube comment sections if you have any questions. Bye.